Hello everybody and welcome back to the Daisy Regrowth Project. I had the pleasure of talking to some of you um, last week um, and getting your thoughts and your feelings about the lockdown um, and we've had some ups and we've had some downs um, and uh, uh, I know that some of you have been missing um, the places that you normally go to and uh, missing some of the people that you normally see. Um, and although the woodland is uh, going to be a really happy place, it's also going to be about our um, experiences during lockdown. Um, so uh, we need to include uh, these feelings that we have. Um, so that when we when everything returns to normal um and it will all of this will be over and everything will be turned to normal and it is starting to do that already a little bit um then we can look back and look at our woodlands and remember what it was all like through our beautiful artwork so so what have you been missing uh well uh, somebody said that they had been missing the theatre. A lot of you said that you are missing your art clubs and uh, art groups and other groups um, that you normally go to. Um, and of course your friends that you normally see at these groups. Um, Somebody said that they missed pot noodle <laughs> because they couldn't get it. Um, and I, I can tell you that I've been missing um, seeing my family. So um, how will we include this in our woodland? Well, what better way of um, showing your feelings but through art? But we can't have a gallery in our woodland, um, but we can have a, a sculpture trail. And I'm really excited about this. We'll have a sculpture trail um, and it'll include um, uh, our uh, artwork showing our feelings. Um, an artist that's very good at drawing um, all of his thoughts and his emotions down onto paper and then putting them on uh, sculptures, these magnificent pots, is Grayson Perry. Um, you may know him. Uh, he's an artist that uh, is on our TV screens an awful lot and uh, in our newspapers. Um, and I think we're going to have a little look at his work now. So Grayson Perry, he is a contemporary artist, which means he's living and working today. And he's famous uh, for these wonderful pots. He does other work as well, but he's very famous and is known for these wonderful big pots that he makes with all of his drawings um, on them. And they are drawings of himself and of people he knows and things that he thinks about. And they won an important art prize uh, way back in 2003. It's called the Turner Prize. So let's have a look at some of these pots um, and what's on them. Uh, that last one had a teddy bear on it, did you see? Now this one's got aeroplanes on it um, and lots and lots of writing. Um, which looks really, really nice, um, and um, and it's got flowers on it. And here's a pair of vases, uh, one with um, I Love Beauty on it, just written over it, so just his real strong thoughts, and another one uh, of himself, actually, um, dressed up uh, like sometimes he does. Here's another one with portraits of people on and some words and some photographs and a flag there. So all sorts of things going on in these vases. Let's have a look at some of his drawings. Yeah, so this is a, a page out of his sketchbook. And there's all sorts of things going on in this. It looks a little bit like a, a, a comic strip, uh, you know, a cartoon 
magazine kind of thing um, with you know the way he's divided all the pictures up into kind of a, a story um, but it's got all sorts going on it's got some uh, drawings that are coloured in it's got writing um, and uh, it's a very interesting piece you could see that on one of his vases couldn't you Um, and this is a plan for uh, one of his vases. I think it's a back and front to it. And he's made notes in his sketchbook about, you know, what he wants to do with it. But it's got all kinds of things going on. And I like the way, again, he's kind of divided uh, his thoughts and, and drawings into shapes, like there's round bits and things that are circled and there's a star on it and all sorts of things. So this next one is uh, another page from his sketchbook because it looks a bit different because he's painted over the top of his writing which makes it look quite interesting but you can still sort of read the writing. Um, but it's also, I think this is interesting, that he has put some photographs in it as well as his drawing and his sort of illustration of a, a heart, I think that is there. And then this one, he's obviously uh, taken a long while over this sketch. It's a sketch of uh, somebody's house, I think, um, and they are doing all sorts of things in there. It's a couple of people over there in reading books, somebody kind of cooking, somebody in the kitchen, somebody done a drawing of, of vegetables there, all sorts of things going on. And then again, lots of writing down the bottom or notes or something. Um, so uh, that's Grayson Perry's drawings. So uh, I would like you to do some drawings now um, and to send them to me so that I can include them in the woodlands in our sculpture trial, trail. Um, and um, I want you to, I want the drawings to be about how you feel in lockdown. Um, so they can be happy or sad or angry or just how you normally feel. Um, they could be about the things that you've missed, like we talked about. Uh, maybe it could be a drawing of somebody, one of your friends that you miss or um, somebody in your family that you haven't seen. Uh, or they can be you doing something new in your house or um, um, it could be something like just a, a word or um, a, a, a sentence, something like, I miss you. Now that says it all, doesn't it? Let's have a little look at some examples of uh, what you could um, draw about or really what how you how you could draw about them um, we are going to be putting these on some kind of sculpture in the in the woodland I'm not sure what yet so we just want the drawings we just want the drawings in your sketchbook or on a page on a piece of paper so that you can photograph it and send them to me um, and I'll keep them safe until we know exactly what we're going to do with them. So let's have a look at these examples. So don't forget you could, uh, like Grace and Perry, put lots of drawings onto one page to sort of make a story. Here's a drawing that's sort of been split into two. It's a, um, a kind of a stormy or and a sunny picture. Uh, at the same time. So that kind of tells a bit of a story, doesn't it? And as I said, you could put just the writing I miss you, but you could make it a lot better than that. And um, you could put some doodles in it and some flowers or, or uh, some other kinds of um, things that uh, express how you miss that person that you're missing. Like this one, I love this one. It's a clock and it says miss you at all the, of the um, points of the clock where the hours should be. 
sort of saying, I miss you all the time. It could be just a symbol, a symbol of something. Look, this says it all. It looks a bit um, very, a bit sad, doesn't it? It's a not, uh, it's um, something that tells you that you are sad. And on the same time, we can have one that's happy. Um, and look, this one has got a rainbow on it too. So it's kind of, uh, it's like a, a thank you NHS one, isn't it? Or you could just have a pattern. Patterns can be expressive too. This one makes me feel like uh, I'm closed in a little bit, a little bit restricted, can't do the kind of things that I want to do. I'm in a sort of box. That's what that pattern makes me feel. Whereas this one makes me feel much happier. It's almost got a sun in the picture. Um, and although those th things are been up and down and up and down and round and round, the sun is always shining. That's what that pattern makes me feel. And what about this one? I'm not sure how this makes me feel. Maybe it makes me just feel like I'm normal, that it's just going about business as normal. Or maybe it makes you feel like you're going round in circles. I don't know whether that one's happy or sad. The other thing that you could do is find photographs, um, you know, uh, of the things that you're missing. Um, here's a... Uh, some something for somebody, the, the person that was missing the theatre. Or, look, this is what I'm missing, somebody to do my hair. So please, draw a picture, um, write a message, or find a picture um, or a photograph, and... Um, Make it about how you feel or who you are missing or what you are missing during lockdown and send it to me. If you send me more than one picture or a combination of pictures, then I can put them all together uh, for you on your sculpture. So, um, yes, do feel free to send me uh, as much as you like. As a normal, here is the email address. Um, have fun and I really look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.